Hi, it's Andy Bauer at Object Arts with part three of my video on how to create a lights out game with the model view presenter framework of Dolphin Smalltalk. If you remember, in part two, we created two new classes. We created a presenter class for our lights out cell and a view class to display its model. Uh, the model is a value holder holding a, a boolean value, true or false, which represents whether the light is on or off. So now let's go ahead and create the additional classes which represent the uh, game board and the uh, game presenter. Um, the game board uh, will be a model class that contains um, a certain number of value holders which represent the states of the lights. So let's go and use the class browser browser to create this uh, this board class. We're going to call it lights out board. So create a new class class lights out board. Okay, and we're going to have a number of cells in this board. So we need an instance variable to hold them. Okay. Um, on the class side, let's create a constructor method. Um, let's call it uh, with size, um, giving an integer number of cells we want to create. Uh, we'll try and uh, oh, sorry, we'll, we'll 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 pass the uh, the side of the square, the length of the side of the square that we want to create. So let's create our method with size and pass it an integer parameter and we're going to use super new and call an instance method set size with that integer value okay compile that um, in order that we can create a, a default version of this with, with, the, with just using the new method let's also add uh, new to this and um, we will make that call self with size and a default size we can write a method to answer that value for us um, accept that and uh, let's create our uh, default size method And uh, the default size in this case is going to be 10, so we want to create a 10 by 10 square of lights. So on the instance side, uh, we need to define our set size method. And that's going to take uh, an integer. And we want to create um, an array of cells um, uh, up to an integer squared. So we can, the way we can do that is we can use a range one to integer squared, and we collect that into a number of Boolean value holders holding true. Okay. Uh, let's add a couple of uh, accessor methods uh, for the. Uh, one for the cells itself. Okay, and let's add another one for the uh, the size of the square, which uh, in fact is going to be the same as the square root of the cell size. Truncated to get always return an integer, just in case we don't have a square. Okay, so that should be enough to uh, represent our board. That's the model for our game. Uh, now let's go and create the um, the game presenter, uh, which we're going we can call Lights Out Game. Um, we're going to want this to be a shell presenter because it appears in a shell window on the screen. So let's go and find the shell presenter class and let's uh, descend from this so I'll 
create a new class called Lights Out Game. Okay, and uh, once again, the first thing we do is to create a uh, default model uh, class, a default model method on the class side. And in this particular case, we want to answer a new lights out board. Okay. Now, if we move over onto the instance side, um, we need to think about what this uh, presenter is going to contain. Um, in previous examples, we've actually used the create, can be overridden the create components method of presenter to uh, specify the sub-presenters. Um, however, in this particular case, because we don't know how many um, cells there are going to be until the model is assigned to us, we're going to have to dynamically create our sub-presenters. Now, we can't do this in the create components method because the model isn't set up at that point. So we need to do it some point after that. And a, uh, a suitable point, I think, would be to do it inside um, on view opened. So let's override on view opened. And when you do this, you should always send um, super send it. And what we're going to do is call a method called create cell presenters. Okay, let's compile that. And let's go and define that method. Um, so we're going to create cell presenters. And the first thing we want to do is, is um, it's possible we might be reassigning um, a new model to, uh, to this presenter. So we want to get rid of any ones we've created before. So we'll uh, clear the uh, existing cell presenters. I'm going to write this method in a minute. Okay, and um, what we'll do is we will um, go through all of the cells in the attached model and for each one of those cells um, we will create a new lights out cell inside ourself. Okay, so the create on method, a create in on method will create a new um, sub presenter inside ourself and given a particular model. Now that should do it for um, this uh, create cell presenters method. If I uh, reformat and accept that. Now we're being warned that we need to define this method, clear existing cell presenters. Um, it occurs to me that in order to know um, which presenters uh, have been included in this, uh, have di been, been dynamically created before, we're going to need an instance variable to hold this. So let's, um, let's go and add an instance variable um, cell presenters. Okay, accept that. And we're going to need to initialize that with um, uh, an initialize method. So let's define that here. Uh, once again, initialize on the class side is always super sent. And now we're going to um, let's create an ordered collection to hold the um, the cell presenters and we can add as we create them we can add them into there so we know uh, what we've what we've created um, so if we go back now to create cell presenters as we create each one of these we can uh, add it into that new cell presenters order collection so we can do cell presenters add CP Okay, um, now we can go and correct this method, clear existing cell presenters.
and we need to loop through all of those, uh, destroying each one. So uh, we can do cell presenters do go through uh, each one, um, and we can just destroy it, which will remove it at the same time. So we can accept that. Uh, and that's pretty much all we need to do to get us going. So what we need to do now is to create ourselves a view uh, in the usual way by right clicking and saying uh, new uh, to default view. And the view composer comes up. Let's uh, resize this. Okay, into a sort of vague square. Um, we can give it a caption. Um, yeah, and uh, maybe a background color. Okay, um, and the other thing we might want to do is to turn off the resizing. So we can go to is resizable, turn that off, stop people resizing it into something that's not square. Uh, and also we want to turn use preferred extent off so that Windows doesn't get to choose the size and it, uh, it sticks with the size we've given it. Okay, now you might say, as we're adding these presenters into, uh, into the view, um, we haven't actually specified where they go in the view. And that's because we can do something quite clever here. We can use one of the um, uh, Dolphin layout managers to specify how the sub views in this are rearranged. So uh, in order to do that, we can go and find the layout manager property here, uh, double click on it, and we're going to use a thing called a grid layout. So we'll create that grid layout, and you'll see when it's been inserted that it basically specify a number of columns and a number of rows uh, in the grid layout. Uh, we can do this uh, dynamically as we're building the um, uh, the sub presenters. So let's save this away, and if we now go back, and we just need to when we're creating our cell presenters, we need to just go and make sure that we. Um, add enough rows in that uh, layout manager so we can basically ask our view for its layout manager and we know that it's going to be a grid layout so we know that we can use the rows method on it and we can um, set the number of rows to the size of the model uh, if you remember, we created a method on um, our model size, which returned the, uh, the the length of each side. So that should work. Okay, let's accept that, and um, that should be enough to give it a quick whirl. Uh, in the next uh, video in this series, uh, we'll launch uh, our lights out game for the first time to try it out, and um, we'll do a bit of coding in the, de the debugger. To, um, uh, to finish off the missing parts.